Hello, good morning everyone. How are you doing? Hope you are all fine and uh, welcome to this session again. This is Vin Vincent Obita. Uh, I want to appreciate everyone who has been supporting uh, the channel in terms of uh, watching and also gaining from the content in terms of uh, handling various nursing issues. Uh, and today we want to talk about one of the new skills which have just been introduced by NMC regarding preparation of nurses uh, in attaining their band five status. Now, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, the skill of bowel assessment. Uh, the bowel assessment uh, station is a silent station. It's yet to be rolled out, but uh, a peak of what it entails can be given easily based on the guideline uh, which has already been given. Now, the bowel assessment comes in two parts, yeah? So in this session, we will only deal with uh, the first bit, which is uh, uh, the type one and type two types of uh, stools, according to the, uh, according to the Bristol stool uh, chart. Now, uh, the, the assessment itself will come in two bits that is in the examination there will be the first bit of recognizing the type of stool and there will be the second bit of proposing a plan of care to handle the same yeah so in this case uh, the type of chart that we are expecting to uh, be given will look like this yeah so the chart will contain the date the time, the comment, uh, which entails um, in terms of volume, whether small, um, medium, or large, then there will be seven types of stool, yeah, from type one and type two, which are hard in terms of uh, their consistency, and type six and seven, uh, which are loose in terms of their consistency. At the extreme end, there will be staff initials or signature or name. Depending on what will be provided for you in the examination, go with that. If it is initials, just give the initials, don't sign. If it is signature, don't give the uh, initials, give them a signature. If it is the name, print your name there. Go uh, by what is provided uh, for you in the examination. So the first bit of the of the of the bowel assessment in terms of OSC examination will entail recognition of um, of the of the type of stool, and you will be provided with a picture, and you are supposed to identify which type of stool you are dealing with. So in this scenario, uh, we are going to deal with constipation. So you will be given a picture, and you are supposed to identify. Uh, and before we proceed, just remember we'll be only considering type 1 and type 2 because they are easy to recognize and they are also abnormal. Then type 6 and 7 because they are also uh, abnormal and easy to identify. We won't deal with 3, 4 and 5 because they are within like uh, uh, the expected elements of, uh, of bowel opening. Now. Uh, what you might exp uh, get in your OSC exam will be something of, the, uh, of this kind. So you will be provided with a picture like this and you are told uh, fill in your bowel assessment chart and propose a plan of care to handle the same. Uh, all of this is a silent station so you will be the one recognizing, recording your findings and proposing a care of plan. So in this case, this is a, a type one, um, a type one uh, sort of uh, bowel opening in terms of uh, stool, uh, stool, uh, stool type. Uh, the reason is these are separate hard lumps, which signifies um, uh, constipation. Yeah, uh, and this will be a type one. Another picture that you might be provided with will look like this and this is a type 2 whereby we still have the lamps yeah but uh, they, they, they are all uh, 
compact together. They are sausage-like but still lumpy. The entire stool sample is um, uh, is uh, sausage-like, but you can see small lumps in between. Yeah, and this still signifies uh, constipation. So. Upon being given such a photo, you will recognize it and record it in your bowel chart. So we, in this case, we can deal with type 1, which, um, which gives us a clear picture of what uh, the stool uh, sample would look like. So in this case, this would be a type 1. How will I go ahead and record this? I'll pick my bowel chart. The first bit contains the patient details. In Oscar, this one will be prefilled. So under the first one, I'll write the date today, and the date today is 13th of September 2022. And the time you will use here will be the time given you for the OSCE assessment. You will be told, assume it is 10 a.m. So your time here will be 10 a.m. And depending on what is provided, you will decide whether the amount is small, medium, or large. But since it's a photo, uh, a photo examination, I'm, I'm certain they might omit uh, that area because you will not clearly identify the quantity based on the picture. But in this case, I can consider this one to be small. So under the comment section, I will place s to mean small then it is a type one under type one i'll give it a tick to mean that that's the that's the type of stool that i've recognized so there's a tick under type one there then uh my initials at the end to show that i'm the one who did that assessment so i have the name i mean the date the time the comment, the stool type, which is type 1, and the, at the extreme end, I have my initials, VO, to mean I'm the one who did the assessment. Now, after doing that one, there will be a separate portion or a separate sheet to draw a plan of care. And your plan of care, uh, for you to get full marks or for you to pass this session, must have at least five points. Yeah, and for partial marks is three, but we don't want to uh, juggle around with the passing. So ensure you have at least five points and they're easy to handle. So the first thing, recognize the type of stool. So in this case, I'll state that uh, the photo indicates a type one stool type. Yeah, and this signifies constipation and there is need to prevent constipation for this patient. Uh, my point too would be the cause of uh, constipation can range from things like uh, uh, medication and inactivity. Yeah. Uh, the third point would be uh, there is need for the patient to take lots of fluid to ensure hydration and ensure the bowel opening is smooth. Uh, there is also need to uh, increase uh, fiber diet, uh, increase vegetable intake and fruit intake to ensure the system is running smoothly as well. Uh, uh, there is need for a prescription uh, for laxatives that will ensure the smooth running of the bowel. Uh, there is also the aspect of hydration where the patient need to take increased amount of fluid to ensure the body is uh, hydrated and also the system is running smoothly. Uh, the patient need to increase physical activity uh, as this will encourage bowel opening. There's also need to embrace uh, positive bowel habits in terms of privacy, uh, positioning and also spending uh, a sufficient time while opening bowels. Then your last point will fall under uh, the need to continue to observe the bowel uh, activity. Those forms are about eight points that you can capture for constipation. They will just be like a bullet point for you to recognize all that. Mm -hmm. And with all that, 
you would have passed this section. Remember, you can categorize them uh, in a manner that fits you, but there are, there are things that are easy to recognize and uh, also note them down. With that one, you'd be home and dry. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, check the next video, which will contain the bowel assessment uh, for type 6 and 7. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.